Hi everyone, Mitchell Trench calling and welcome to MJT Reviews Eurovision Song Contest 2017 Kiev, Ukraine. And in this video I'm going to be talking about Austria. But I don't care Cause I'm running on air And this song is called Running on Air and it's by Nathan Trent. No, not same surname as me. Looking at the music video, the first shot in the music video, it, this has nothing to do with the contest because it's a music video, but the first shot is like amazing. <laughs> like movie making scene in the fjords. And I'm pretty sure that that scene was the entire budget for their music video right there. The quality for the rest of the music video was nowhere near as good as like the first 30 seconds of that music video. It was outstanding and mesmerizing, but or maybe it's just the scenery of Austria. The song started out a little boring, I must say. In the first verse, I was like, okay, it's gonna be like a folksy pop song. I had to meet some people who were there to believe in me. Although, from the beginning, I must say, I could tell that his voice was really strong and that we had a really good singer on our hands. I loved his jazzy sound from the get-go. Straight away I was like, oh, who wrong song for him? And I could hear the incredible amount of potential out of his voice, especially in the jazziness, the jazzy raspy tone of his voice. Hey now, if you push me down, I'll get up again. Hey now, if you let me drown, I'll swim like a champion. I loved his trills in the second verse. And I must say that the second verse did get better in the music as well. There's a bit more of a beat and like ba boom boom. You can try to put me in a box, but I'm doing it my own damn way. And on top of that, he also seems to be a really strong belter, especially in the last chorus. I was pretty surprised. Hey now, hey now. Yeah. I really hope that he belts that good live compared to in the recording because he sounds like he could either be a really strong belter or he could have like a kind of Maroon 5. The guy in Maroon 5, Adam Levine, he has a good belt but he's got like a really kind of retained belt like he he belts quietly. It's quite a unique tone but I must say for Eurovision I'd like to hear him like fill the room of the arena rather than be like ah. So yeah but it, it, the sound, I'm not sure how he'll sound live, but I'm really hoping he just like pull out belts really well live as well. And I loved when he sang like, but I'll get up again. But I'll get up again, I'm so. I was like, oh my gosh, that is what we needed from like the second chorus. And then you could have had like progression into a key change. People are still not taking my advice all these years. Come on, key change will get you in the finals. But yeah, that, this could have done with a key change and it could have done with like more trill belts in the last chorus. But when I heard that I was like, oh, see, he has the potential, I know it. And it was just a super jazzy kind of sound as well. And it just made me think that he needs to be singing more of like a funk pop song like, what's the pressure? Or something like that. Or like, scuba da 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 Something like that. It's not for Eurovision and he is not for this song. Totally mismatched, I'm, I'm, I personally think. And especially for Eurovision, he really could have killed it with like a funk pop song for sure. <sighs> but overall, I do like the message of this song. It's overcoming adversity, saying I'll get up again and running on air like it's just if you listen to the lyrics it's very inspirational motivational which it sounds like is going to be a really popular kind of theme for our songs this year overcoming adversity which hey that's always great when it comes to making the final i'm not sure it all depends on placement that they make in the semi-final i think they're in the semi-final too but if they're at the beginning I'd say they have Nathan Trent has no chance of being in the final. If they're at the end, like, or the last couple of songs, I think that he might have a chance. And obviously comparing it against the songs that come out in the future, because we're only up to like our third entry. But he could, or he may not. It's really like right in the middle. I'm going to fence it here and say maybe. <laughs> But uh, maybe he might make it to the vine. I really don't know. It just really depends on placement. Really depends. And really depends on like 
what is up against in the semi-final two. So that's it for now. Please like, comment, and make sure to subscribe to my channel to see all my Eurovision 2017 Kiev reviews. And you can also like my Facebook page, MJT Reviews. And until next time, bonsoir Europe, and goodbye.